I regretted it immediately. No, I'm sorry. I'm really dumb. <laughs> I'm hard of hearing. Why? Because I whistled. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Sorry? What? <laughs> Say that again. I don't, I don't understand your accent. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, how about Alex? Huh? <laughs> That's like super loud, dude. I'm compensating. For a lot of things. That's wow. Um Should we talk about Alex for a minute? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um How was the panel being honest with us? How, how was it? Would you ask? How was the Pantheon? Yes. How was the Pantheon? Um, I don't understand why that's is, relevant. Is, uh, is Alex being crass yet? Is he talking about, like, inappropriate things? And, uh, he'll get We're there. working on it. He's just it's, uh, he's, uh, he's a dirty young individual. Uh, he sickens us. He really, really brings the room down. Um, you know, it'll be the, the four of us, Jared, Jensen, me, oh, and you know, and it's Alex, like high brow humor, like, like, and then, I mean, and it's, um, it's gross. It's unfortunate. It's, I, but it's, then you find it I remember too. where I was in my first, my first season of Supernatural. No, and you it, don't. No, I don't, because <laughs> I don't remember that far back. Um, <laughs> I was just saying yesterday, I thought on the gag reel, that it was his second episode where Jared, like he was shirtless and Jared was just like running his claws <laughs> over poor Alex when he was getting the tattoo. Yeah, it didn't take long for things to go south for poor Alex. Well, because he, he is, uh, <laughs> he tries to be professional. Which, uh, which is not necessarily a trait that, that is uh, um, utilized on our, our set often. And so, you know, this young, young man coming on and, and being professional and also naked at the same time, and Jared just sees an open opportunity, because that's all it is. It's just yeah. basically, it's a, he's a target. Yeah. Easy prey. Easy prey. Yeah. Easy prey. Um, and it was... Uh, There's so many times when I've seen Alex do this. <laughs> You know how many times I've seen you do that? <laughs> yeah, it, feels, it feels good to pass the baton a bit, doesn't it? Unfortunately, I think the two of us are just now carrying the baton together. Yeah, you, you basically did this. <laughs> you carry half, I'll carry the other half. Um, it's, uh, I will say though that he's, uh, he's a, 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 a delightful addition to the series. Uh, we hope he sticks around for, for a while. Uh, we probably won't because I, 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 I thought the exact opposite about this one and he's now been with us for like 10 years. So, uh, hey, I know. Thank you. So. Um, How you doing, bud? Good, good. Uh, this morning, uh, Jensen was like, "Hey, here's here's a, here's that shirt. You want to you want to borrow that shirt? You can wear it to the convention today." And I was like, "No, dude, I'm not wearing your shirt to the convention." Like, he's like, "Don't worry, it still has the tags on it. It's fine." And I was like, "Okay, thanks." But I'm like, "I'm not gonna wear your fucking shirt to the convention." And then I, at lunch, I spilled salad dressing all over my shirt. <laughs> Sweet. So thanks for the shirt. I knew. <laughs> um, you were like, Misha didn't bring his bib today. So. Misha didn't bring his bib. We're probably having, you know, something 
No, I literally was like, I was like, I have a shirt that I brought that, because I, I, I try to wear something new for every uh, time that there are pictures being taken of me, just because that's the culture we live in now. I've got 
got some stuff? You carry your nose around with you. No, no, that's cool. What do you do? I read it. I can't read that quickly. It takes me a while. You're a faster reader than I am. I am not. You read your script 40 times before you act it. I read it once. <laughs> He's just looking through for pictures. Uh, He's good. Uh, I haven't, I haven't found one yet, but uh, yeah. Oh, it takes me a second to digest. I like to really drink it in. I don't. So you've eaten and drank. When are you gonna read? After the eating and drinking. I like to really let the script influence me. No, I get it. <laughs> you have a question for us? point in my life where I ask myself, how did I get here? <laughs> I think I'm like, oh, Um, okay. <laughs> so, Jerry already answered this this morning, but I was wondering, when a story finishes, would you like to have all the answers and all the threads tied up, or do you like to be left wondering? I like to be left wondering. Um, I like, for example, here's a good example. Did you guys see three billboard? Free billboards? Yes. I love that. So a few outside on the way in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I love the ending of that movie because we we didn't know what was gonna happen and I found that immensely satisfying. I do not. Um I I would like it to have uh, an ending. Um and it reminds me of uh, of something that I just recently learned. You know when you get a song stuck in your head? Yeah. Finish the song, it won't be stuck in your head anymore. True. Your brain is actually yeah. trying to finish it. It needs closure. It's true. It's weird. So it's for me, I need that. Like I, I, I want like a clear cut, like kind of finality to it, because uh, it helps me move on. Otherwise, it's like jerks. <laughs> now I'm going to be thinking about that for the next however long. What if, what if the story does have the threads, uh, uh, all the loose ends tied up? But the loose ends being cut up means that we're all dead. Wait, what are we talking about here? Supernatural? Why did oh, okay. I thought we were just talking about life. <laughs> like we are gonna like oh, oh this God, just took a dirty turn. By the way, just for like what if we're just dying and then we're like, oh yeah, we're just for like what if we're just dying? For for clarification, oh. that is the way life is gonna end as well. I understand that. But is that what is that what we're talking about? For supernatural. For supernatural. Well we could ask her. <laughs> well what are we talking about? It was meant as a question in regards to storytelling, not specifically supernatural. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> guys. Yeah. yeah, so if we're just dead. <laughs> but here's the problem. If we're talking about the story of supernatural, um, dying is not a finality. <laughs> so yeah. next. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering, which one of you is the best dancer? Oh. <laughs> well, there's a wheel over here. We need more music. We've got two other contestants. Three, three ways on. I'm pretty sure we all are. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How about a bonus? Oh, smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah, we smoke it up. The lights go down. This is a full production. Hi. Hi. Uh, I must say, it's a pleasure to see you all three together. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> and um, Misha, before you say that you didn't think Castile has a, had a, a bedroom like oh. in, in, the, in the bunker. <laughs> yep. So, uh, but I, I, I hope he doesn't just like stand around in the, in the hallway. So. <laughs> In Castiel's defense, a lot of the doors to the bedrooms yeah. in the bunker have little peepholes that you can open. From outside From to outside. Inside? Her question is, what else does Castiel not have? <laughs> <laughs> and does he have a bathroom? Come on. Does he need a bathroom? Do you have a bathroom? Does Cass have toiletries? No, he does not. I know that. What is, as far as like, as far as like character development, in your head, what does Cass do while the brothers are, are sleeping in their respective bedrooms? <laughs> like, could you demonstrate it for us? <laughs> yes. Um, he stands outside your doors. <laughs> I do, I do now have this vision of you just going like this. Check it down. The old pocket. That's, that's actually the this, this season finale. That's it. Yeah. One hour of that. It's one hour of family. <laughs> the episode is called I'll Just Wait Here Then. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I was just curious about what if Castiel had a cascade, what would be in it? Uh, it's really just a bunch of catnip. <laughs> and kitty litter. <laughs> That's so many things. <laughs> Who's a <the> thank you? <laughs> thank you so much. Who are in the posters? on the wall of the Fortress of Cassidy. <laughs> what, what makes you Cassidy? Cassidy. Mm -hmm. Like Grumpy Cat or any other kind? No, it's like that cat that's hanging from a branch and it says, hang in, it's just Monday. <laughs> True story. He, he, he's done his research, he knows his character. He has that poster in his trailer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's quite an easy one for you. How tangy are you and can you limbo? Yes. <laughs> He's good. Mm -hmm. oh, this is Oh, you don't, that's way, that's ridiculous. Okay, look, why are you dancing? I'm not, I'm trying to, I'm trying to limber up. So I don't know if I go to the left hand or right. Take the book out of his pocket, it's not myself. It's notes. I can't get up, can you? I can do it. I can do it. I'm, I'm very bendy. Yes, yes. The bad, how about the youngest one? Let's see if you
Yeah. No, I get down. Damn. I get down. Yeah, that was impressive. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Misha Collins, huh? <laughs> that was a very clever way, by the way, to get a good crotch shot. <laughs> or a crotch shot. <laughs> it's not quite good. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so I was wondering if you can show us what would have happened if Sam and Dina had met alternative universe Castillo. <laughs> This is the thing about what happens if Sam and Dean meet alternative universe Castiel? They want you to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Got it. Understood. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You give us a little, uh, a little alternative <laughs> universe Castiel, and I'll show you what Sam and Dean. You gotta give us a three, two, one action because we're, we're actors. We can't just break in. So, three, two, one, action. Now you know, like what you see. <laughs> To this day, the best acting I've ever seen Misha do. So, in all fairness, we need to be Apocalypse World Testing. <laughs> uh, thank you, and I hope that answers the question. Days, uh, days when you need your rock. Uh, who and what is your rock? Misha really wants to answer this one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, <clears throat> my wife. Um, I have had uh, I have had some real lows in my life and times when I just felt like everything was going to shit and just the simple fact of uh, of hearing her voice has brought me out of it. Um, so I would say that my wife is my rock. Um, and uh, and it's it, it being Mother's Day, I, I'm, I'm grateful that she is the mother to my children as well. So, uh, um, yeah, actually, speaking of rocks, how many mothers do we have in the audience? Happy Mother's Day, you guys. Let's, let's see where that is again. All the mothers. Next question, how many people in here have mothers? <laughs> That's an impressive turnout. A bunch of people, a lot of people didn't raise there their hands. There were a few people who didn't. They were like, no. I, I was genetically engineered in a lab. Um, and some of you probably were, to be honest. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's kind of an easy one uh, 
for me as well, and that, that too is, is my wife, and I think that's one of the reasons why uh, we got married, because there was, uh, there was one person in my life that I continually wanted to uh, confide in, lean on, and draw strength from, and that happened to be the same person, and so I married her. I will say this, however, uh, she might be my rock, but I have some amazing pebbles in my life. <laughs> agreed all around. Uh, yeah, agreed, my wife, my kids. Uh, but I'll say this, if you're asking me for a reason I think you might be asking for, uh, are, are you married? Yes. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> For those who aren't, I think one of the things I have found is sometimes it's nothing you expect. It doesn't have to be a wife or a friend. It can be seeing the moon in the middle of the day. It can be going for a nice run. It can be looking outside and seeing a, a, a bird singing. You're like, oh wow, life is pretty cool. So keep on, if, if something that makes you happy and is your rock every now and again, you don't want to burden them with that material. I get that sometimes where I don't feel like I want to let people that I really love a lot know if I'm having a hard time. Uh, look for yeah, look for uh, look look for pebbles because pebbles are sometimes all you need uh, to get back to your rock. So um, thank you for that. Um, I have a question, but I've also just been told that apparently a lot of people want to hear you sing. There you are. My wayward son. Um, Jared? All of you, I think. Oh, all right. Uh, did we volunteer for this? Oh, I got it. Anybody, there was somebody here that had a birthday. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, no, there's somebody. Anybody? I, I think somebody has a birthday though. Yeah? Alright. You ready? Uh, 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 here, I need you here. Cass has noticed that or felt more a part of the family than he has before. No, I, I, I don't think so. I think, I think Cass is still full of self-loathing 